I would like to um, really underline something which is extremely important, and that is that the United States China bilateral relationship is by far the most important in the world, in my judgment. And many people have said that. Um, I say it many times, and many people will continue to say that in the future. It is so important. And therefore, it's very important for uh, Chinese companies to invest in the United States and for United States companies, frankly, to invest in China. But um, the more we have stronger trade between our two countries, and the more there's mutual investment between our two countries, the stronger this relationship is going to be. We happened to, at this point in history to find the stars all aligned where the United States is the, by far the best place in the world uh, for foreigners to invest. And why is that? Well, basically, it's uh, because of our high growth rates. Most people believe that the United States growth rate is going to continue to be strong for the duration. It's not it's going to be volatile, it's not going to go up and down, it's going to be strong, it's going to be uh, consistent, it's going to be sustained. And that's very, very important for investors. When I talk to a lot of um, Chinese business people, um, this is what they say. They say, my friends tell me to invest in Africa because the rate of return is so much higher in Africa. They tell me to invest in some South American countries because the rate of return is so much higher. Then they say to me, but I tell my friends, no, I don't want to go to South America. I don't want to go to Africa. Why? Because there's so much volatility there. It's so unpredictable. Just don't know what's going to happen. I want to go to America, my business been in China tell me. I want to go to America because it's, it's stable. I have long-term rates of return. May not be as high in the short term as it might be in some other country, but I know a long term that's a great place to invest. There's good examples of that I can, I can mention talking to Chinese business people who are coming to the United States, they're investing in the United States. Why? Because A, the power costs are less compared to what they'd otherwise pay in China. B, um, the, the, uh, the taxes that they pay in the United States are lower than what they'd pay in China. And C, the labor differential is not that great anymore. The cost of labor in the United States is not that much more expensive than it might be in, in China. So there are a lot of reasons to come to the United States. I'm very impressed with the, um, uh, the sustained United States effort to reach out to businessmen and women throughout the world to come to invest in the United States. This is not just a one-off um, uh, effort. This is continual. It lasts for years. We keep working at it. In fact, I was talking this morning to a lady who's very much in charge of putting these together, and she said, you know, next year, I've got a better idea. We're going to make this even better. Here are the two or three things we're going to do next year to make this even better. This is long term. I also think it's important to remember that um, um, irrespective of uh, the, this being put together by the Obama administration, this is going to continue. This is not just an administration effort. And boy, I take my hats off to, to Barack Obama for putting this together. But it's clear to me that, that Select USA is going to be continued with whoever's president, Republican or Democrat. This is an American effort. And I think it's very important for businessmen to understand that. The United States is open for business. We want you. you know, some other places may not want you. We want you. We want you to come to the United States. We're open for business and we will do what we have to do to help solve problems to help you uh, come to the United States. It's important for people to know that we want them to come to, to the United States. There's another point here which I think is important. That's this. We're doing well right now. <laughs> Stars are all aligned in the right way. <laughs> you know, we have labor rates aren't too high. We, our tax system's okay. Um, energy is plentiful. I mean, good workforce. Innovative, creative centers. We've got, you know, Silicon Valley, Route 128. You've got the Golden Triangle, Triangle in North Carolina. Everything. We've got all that's really needed. And there's a strong reason why we're doing so well in, in America. I think something else is going to happen. I think the United States is also on the cusp of going even further, of doing even better. I think a lot of Americans are a little frustrated. We haven't spent as much as we should in infrastructure to build better highways and roads and bridges and, and, and railroads and so forth. I think Americans are a little frustrated. We haven't really done what we can do and should do to develop our education system. I think in the next couple, three years, uh, especially during the next presidential 
campaign debate, that we're going to kind of find our way to the next step. We're, uh, the, uh, the next president, whoever he or she is, is going to tap into something even greater than we now have. So I think this will continue. It's going to get better. It's not just that we're, at this point in time, doing well. It's that we'll, we will continue to do better in the next several years.